Okay, so today we're going to do something a little bit different here in Elite Dangerous. I saw a video by Squirrel um, about how he was using voice commands in the game, and I thought originally that it was actually built into the game, but it turns out it's not. It's done using a third-party tool, and we'll hop out real quick here to the desktop, and I'll show you how to configure that. That tool essentially will take my voice commands in-game and translate them into key presses and sort of scripts of actions that I, can, that I want the game to do for me. So let's hop out to the desktop and have a look at that. Okay, so here we are looking at uh, a program called Voice Attack. There's a free 21-day trial, and after that it's only $8, so it's not a huge expense. What this does, essentially, is it lets you input any kind of voice command and translate it into a key press, a mouse action, a variety of key presses, all sorts of things. So um, it's, it's really quite universal. It's not made specifically for Elite Dangerous in any way. It can be used for other programs, other games, whatever you like. The nice thing about it is that I have created a profile here called Elite Dangerous. Now, the first thing you're going to want to do before you do this is you probably want to go through the speech recognition in Windows and just have a train to recognize your voice a little bit better. That will help later. You can see it's detecting me talking right now with this bar here. It is not currently listening, and I'll tell you why in a second. Um, so if we edit this profile that I created for Elite Dangerous, you can see here I have a number of commands that I've set up. So you create these new commands. The trial only allows you 20 total, so that's why this is grayed out, because I've set up all 20 of them. So for example, this balance power command, if I look at this, so when I say balance power, the game will press down a key and hold it for 0.1 seconds and then release. If I double click on that, uh, it will actually hold the down key. This is a bad example for me. But basically, if we look at one of these other ones here, it will hold the tab key and press it and hold it for 0.1 second. You always want to have the 0.1 second. Basically here, you just choose whatever key you want, how long you hold it, and so on and so forth. There's lots of different options. Um, and basically, I've just got them deployed to match up to the configuration in the game. So in the game, the home key deploys the cargo scoop. So I've set it up like this, and I also have it actually respond back to me afterwards, responding, saying, yes, Commander. This is a an other stuff action. There's several of them. There's quite a few of them. I haven't played with them at all. So, But say something with text-to-speech, you can basically have it talk back to me. Now, by default, you'll likely only have these three voices here that come with Windows 8, the Hazel, David, and Zira voices. But you can get other ones. Ivona 2 has a huge variety of voices that you can purchase, and I'll add a link to that in the description. But basically, this is what it will sound like. So, the way I've set it up is it also helps me to know in the game that the command has been recognized because I get a response back, which is pretty cool. Lots of other options that we don't need to concern ourselves with. Um, so I've set up all these different commands here for powering weapons. For example, for preparing for docking, I actually have a hit L, which deploys the landing gear, and then press O, sorry, L turns on the light, O deploys my landing gear. And then I have it respond to me again, acknowledging that the command has been executed. Now, I don't want it to always listen to me. Like, it is, it's, it's recognizing my microphone right now, but it's not actually doing it doing anything. So under the main options here, under the Recognition Global Hotkey, I have it set up so that it will only listen when the num minus key, the numpad minus key, is being held down. Now why that key, you may wonder. I don't actually reach over and hold down the num minus key to do this. I have the num minus key locked or mapped to a button on my keyboard. Sorry, on my flight stick, rather. This tool here called Joy to Key uh, let's you do that. So here, button four on my joystick pushes numpad minus sign. So I can demonstrate this to you. When I hold down the button on my joystick right now, you can see how it's saying listening resume, listening suspended. So when I actually issue a command, for example, boost, it shows up as green and recognized. Let's do one of the other ones that actually responds back. Prepare for docking. So it has now actually pushed the buttons and then recognized the command and spoken back to me, which is awesome. And I'll show you this in the game in a minute. So that's it's actually really quite straightforward. You can play around with a bit. Uh, There's certain words that I found it had trouble with recognizing more than others. So, you know, I've <clears throat> I've basically changed my commands to to match what works well. So let's see how this works in game. 
Okay, we are uh, going to test this real quick. We're here in a starport, so we're basically just going to launch, fly out, and redock, and hopefully we can make all this happen. Let's see if it's working. Kate? Yes, Commander? Good. It's working. She recognizes me. Let's do this. I just love this. It's awesome. It's so awesome. Prepare for departure. Ready for launch, Commander. So we got the lights off, we got the landing gear retracted, we're good to go. Full speed. I Commander, setting speed to maximum. Power engines. Power diverted to engines. Power engines. Power diverted to engines. See, I have literally uh, not pushed a button other than the talk button so far. Now, to dock, that is one thing I wish we could do. Let's see, where's our station here? Um, I wish I could have it request docking automatically like that. Request granted. So we're just going to turn around. I'll show you a couple other commands I had set up. Um, balance power. Power balanced. Uh, what else do we have? Deploy hard points. Detecting hostile scan. Deploy hard points. Hard points deploying. Retract hard points. Hard points retracting. So as soon as we get in there, we're going to basically do the reverse of what we did when we took off, which means turning on the lights and deploying the landing gear. Uh, what else do we have? Get all those. There's only 20, so once I get the full version of voice tech, there'll be a few more that I can set up, which I'm excited about. I do have a full stop. I might actually do something like set speed to 25% or set landing speed or something, but like I said, I ran out of commands. Sounds like there's a ship beneath us. Prepare for docking. Ready to land, Commander. There goes our landing gear. Awesome. We're looking for pad 27. We're down there. And just for fun. Deploy cargo scoop. Deploy cargo scoop. Yes, Commander. Cargo scoop deployed. Retract cargo scoop. Yes, Commander. Cargo scoop retracted. And that's my demonstration of voice attack. You should check it out. I'll have all the links in the video description. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, please hit the like button. And uh, next time we'll go on a full trip in Elite Dangerous with voice attack. Thanks for watching.